Welcome to Live Interactive English. I'm Matt, and I'm Nina. And today we're going to be talking about the wedding of Sir Gawain and Lady Ragnell. Oh, oh, Sir Gawain! I know Sir Gawain. You do? I know. I mean, I don't know him. I know. Okay. I know who he is. Who is he? So I was watching this movie the other day. Uh -huh. It's called The Green Knight. The Green Knight. Is it about him? It is. He's、okay. the main character in the movie, and yeah, he has to. There's this green knight who comes to to the king's court,、mm -hmm. and he says that if anyone hits him with a sword or an axe, then they will have to be hit back by the green knight in one year and one day at a special place. Interesting. So the movie's about him traveling to that special place and finding things along the way, and eventually. Meeting the scary green knight. Oh wow! To have that fight. I wonder、um, how it ends. Well, I won't tell you the ending because no, you know, I can I watch it. Ruin it for you. <laughs> okay. But、um, yeah, there's, it's a good movie, and I think it was a good watch, and you get to learn about Sir Gawain. Yeah, and you know we also mentioned about King Arthur, right? Yeah, so he, King、uh, Sir Gawain, is one of King Arthur's knights.、So、ah. King Arthur. Is a very famous character from many of these very old, what we call medieval.、Mm -hmm. Many medieval stories、uh, revolve around King Arthur and his knights. Yeah, and I, I think one of the stories I think many people have watched is where there was a rock and a sword stuck in the rock. I think it's and the、King、sword、Arthur. in the stone. So、ah. not just a rock, a stone.、Mm -hmm. And I think King Arthur pulled his sword from the stone to become king. All right. So it looks like we're going to be learning another one of these King Arthur stories today, when we get into the wedding of Sir Gawain and Lady Ragnall. All right, sounds good to me. One day, while hunting in the woods, King Arthur got separated from his hunting party and encountered Sir Gromer Somer Jor, a tall knight dressed in black. King Arthur, for many a year you have done me wrong. Now it is time for me to quiet you. The knight roared. Arthur pointed out that it wouldn't be honorable to kill an unarmed man. The knight agreed and offered to spare Arthur's life on the condition that Arthur return in a year with the answer to a riddle. What is it that women most desire? Welcome back. Today we're looking at part one of our story, the wedding of Sir Gawain and Lady Ragnall. All right, so let's get into it. One day, while hunting in the woods, King Arthur got separated from his hunting party and encountered Sir Gromer Somer Jor, a tall knight dressed in black. Okay, so、Ooh. his hunting party. So they're out there hunting and、mm. having a party. <laughs> no, of course no, not. No, I don't think so. No, so a hunting party is just a group of people who go hunting together. Yeah, sometimes you can use the word party as people with you, right? People in a group, like. When people are trying to find someone, they'll call it a search party because they're、mm -hmm. searching for someone in a group. There's a group of people kind of doing the same thing together. It can be、yeah. a party. Yes, and so they encountered something or someone is to meet someone unexpectedly. So, for example, Pete was excited to encounter a rare bird while hiking. Okay.、So、yeah. He didn't know he would see that bird. He just went for a hike. Yeah. And then he encountered a rare bird. So yeah. He didn't plan to find it. Yeah. You can also say maybe run into sometimes, right?、Mm -hmm. For a person, yeah. Yeah. You'd run into a person. I don't think you could run into the bird. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. But for a person, you could certainly run into your friend somewhere when you didn't expect to see them. Yes. King Arthur, for many a year, you have done me wrong.、Ooh. Now it is time for me to quiet you. The knight roared. Wow,、okay. he's going to quiet him.、Mm -hmm. So it's used as a verb, right? Yeah, to quiet、so、someone. Quiet someone to to stop someone from making noise. So. Probably to kill him. Yeah, that's what he means. That's what it sounds like.、Mm -hmm. So continuing, 
Arthur pointed out that it wouldn't be honorable to kill an unarmed man. All right. The knight agreed and offered to spare Arthur's life on the condition that Arthur return in a year with the answer to a riddle. What is it that women most desire?、Mm, okay. Okay. So he decided to spare his life. Right. So to. Spare someone from something usually means to not do something that will either kill or hurt or harm or even bother someone. Just、mm-hmm. to do something bad to someone, and you're not going to do it. You're going to spare them.、Mm. So, for example, the general chose to spare the enemy soldier's life. So that means that he had the chance to kill the enemy soldier, and、mm-hmm. he chose not to. So、okay. he's going to spare their life. He's not going to. Kill them. He's not going to hurt them. Yes. It's also the same with this knight that King Arthur encountered. Has said that he will spare his life if he can answer this riddle. All right. Also because he didn't want to hurt an ar- an armed man, right? An unarmed man. Yeah, yeah. So that means he didn't have any weapons with oh, him. Oh, I thought、right? it means he didn't have any arms. <laughs> no, but yes, it means he doesn't have. Actually, arms is actually another word for weapons. So、yes, it to, is. if you don't have arms, it's unarmed, meaning you don't have knives or swords or or guns even. Yes, so he needs to go back in a year and with the answer to the riddle, right? And a riddle is a type of question that describes something in a difficult and confusing way and has a clever or funny answer. It's often asked as a game. So, for example, the riddle was so easy that even my little brother could solve it. Okay, so I have a riddle for you, Nina. What is it?、Uh, what's black and white and red all over? Black and white and red all over. What? What is? So the answer is a newspaper, because newspaper is black and white,、yeah. and it's it's read by people all、ah. over. It's R E A D read. If people read it, it's read. Good、over. job.、Yeah. That's a good one, because people <laughs> confuse the red with the color red,、mm-hmm. right? right? Okay. Okay. So this has been, you know, a good start to the story. We've got an exciting、mm-hmm. encounter. Yeah. While they're hunting, and yeah, I'm looking forward to find out where this story is going to go,、yeah. and we'll find out more after the break. All right, see you later. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。这一次要读的故事是 The Wedding of Sir Gawain and Lady Ragnell， 高文爵士与瑞格雷尔小姐的婚礼。那我们来读故事吧。有一天啊，在树林里面打猎时，亚瑟王跟他的狩猎队走散了。那他就遇到一位身穿黑衣的高大骑士。Sir Gromer Somerjor, 那名骑士就吼着说，亚瑟王亏待他很多年，然后现在要了结他的性命。不过亚瑟王就指出，杀死一名手无寸铁的人并不光彩。那么对方听了，好像也同意，就说饶了他一命。那么条件是亚瑟王一年后要来回答一个谜题，也就是女子最想要的是什么呢？好，我们看到文中的 unarmed， 它是形容没有武装的、手无寸铁的。那它是有表示否定的字首 u n 加上 armed， 是指有武装的两个字组合在一起。那补充一下 ，arm 这个字当动词可以表达武装装备，那么当名词就可以指武器、军备。当这个意思解释时，常常会用复数型。再看到单字 encounter， 它表示偶遇或者是遇到，可能像是遇到某个问题啊、困难等等。再来 spare， 它是动词，表示饶过，使免遭到伤害。我们可以用 spare somebody or something。From 加上名词去表达，使某人或某事物避免、免于遭受什么什么。再来看到 riddle， 它表示谜题、谜语或是谜团。Nina 老师在解释时，他用的 confusing 这个字 ，c o n f u s i n g， confusing 就是形容令人困惑的。好，这边两个重点，我们进入文法时间。好，我们来看第一个重点是句型 ，it's time to 加上原形动词是指该做某事了，或是是什么什么的时候了。这个不定词 to v 的前面呢，还可以加上 for somebody 来表达对某人来说。例如 ，It's time for you to turn off your computer and go to bed. 你该关掉电脑去睡觉喽。那么第二个重点是句型 it。
加上 be 动词加形容词再加不定词 to v， 像这样是表达做某事是怎么样怎么样的。这个 it 是虚主词，真正的主词是在后面的不定词 to v。那 to v 的前面一样可以加入 for somebody 来表达对某人来说，像 it's rude to stare at people， 盯着别人看是不礼貌的。那我们再看一个例句。I thought it would be difficult for him to lose weight, but I was wrong. 我以为减肥对他来说很困难，但我错了。好，接华课文中。Arthur gladly left and told his loyal knight and nephew, Sir Gawain, about his predicament. They set out across the kingdom and asked everyone they could find. But everyone had a different idea of what women desired. Still, without an answer, Arthur returned to the forest and came across an ugly old hag named Lady Ragnell. Lady Ragnell told Arthur that she could tell him the answer and save his life, but she wanted to marry Sir Gawain in return for her help. Arthur quickly passed Ragnell's demand on to Gawain. Who immediately agreed to the arrangement? Lady Ragnell then revealed the answer: All women wanted to have sovereignty to live their lives as they saw fit. All right, welcome back, everyone. Now we were talking about Arthur and that's right, King Arthur, and he was. Hunting in the woods, when he encountered a tall knight dressed in black, and this knight said that he would he would quiet King Arthur. Yeah. So he he didn't he him and King Arthur clearly don't get along. He yeah. Said he, <laughs> he, he doesn't he didn't like King Arthur. He wanted to kill King Arthur, but、yes. King Arthur was unarmed, so he had no weapons. And the knight said he would spare his life, so he would not kill King Arthur. For now. For now,、mm -hmm. if he can come back in one year and answer a riddle. Yes. What do women want? What do women really want?、Mm -hmm. What do you think women want? I, I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's find out.、Uh, so, Arthur gladly left and told his loyal knight and nephew, Sir Gawain, about his predicament.、Mm. Mm. So he's in a. Predicament. A predicament is an unpleasant or a difficult situation.、Mm -hmm. So it's you know he has to find out what women really want. So that's、yeah. a difficult situation. It's a predicament. Yes. Okay. And he went to tell his loyal knight, Sir Gawain. So loyal means faithful or someone you can trust. Someone who will be there for you is loyal.、Mm -hmm. Someone who will not leave your side. And someone you can rely on to help you with things, to do things for you, is a loyal person, maybe a loyal friend.、Mm -hmm. And for example, dogs are loyal and will never leave your side. That's true. I think dogs are known to be loyal. Dogs、right? are much more loyal than like pet rabbits or, <laughs> or even cats because. Yeah, that's the, true.、Mm. They will always stay by your side.、Mm -hmm. uh, would you consider yourself to be a loyal person? Uh yeah, I think I'm loyal to my friends and loyal to, you know, I, I play sports, so I'm loyal to my teammates、mm. when we're playing sports together. Yeah, that's great. All right, so continuing, they set out across the kingdom and asked everyone they could find, but everyone had a different idea of what women desired.、Mm. Huh?、Since、yeah, that's interesting. People、okay. will have yeah many different ideas out there.、So. Mm hmm. Still, without an answer, Arthur returned to the forest and came across an ugly old hag named Lady Ragnell. An ugly old hag. What's a hag? A hag. Well, I think a hag really just means an old lady.、Mm -hmm. And you can say ugly old hag, but when you say hag, it actually implies, implies negative, that it's、right? ugly and old already. <laughs> so okay. So a hag is usually not only ugly but also old. But you can even, for extra emphasis, say an ugly old hag.、Mm, okay. Okay. Lady Ragnell told Arthur that she could tell him the answer and save his life.、Mm. But she wanted to marry Sir Gawain in return for her help. Wow.、Mm. Okay. I'll give you the answer and spare your life. Only、mm -hmm. if. 
You give me your knight. <laughs> give me your, his nephew too. His, yeah. Sir Gawain is not only his knight but also his nephew. So he'd be giving away his nephew for the answer to this question. <laughs> I wonder if Sir Gawain has a choice in the matter. No. <laughs> All right. So continuing, Arthur quickly passed Ragnell's demand onto Gawain, who immediately agreed to the arrangement. Okay. So it looks like he did have a choice because yes. he did agree to it. So he said yes. He yes. Will do it. Well, it's either that or he's going to lose his uncle, right? right? <laughs> All right. So. She made a demand to marry Sir Gawain, right? So a demand is a strong request,、mm -hmm. or basically when you tell someone to do something. So,、mm -hmm. Matt, I demand you to get me something outside right now.、Oh, right now. <laughs> okay. For example, the boss's demand for all employees to work on Saturday was unreasonable.、Mm -hmm. That's very true. Mm -hmm. mm. So, Lady Ragnell then revealed the answer: all women wanted to have sovereignty to sovereignty. live their lives as they saw fit. Okay,、mm -hmm. so sovereignty is the freedom to make their own choices, do what they want.、Mm -hmm. right? Freedom, freedom to have total control of everything. Within, so a person's sovereignty, they have control of their own lives. They can decide what they want to do and when they want to do it.、Mm. And I think that's a basic thing that I think everyone wants. Yeah,、so. everyone wants that. But maybe back then, girls didn't have the same rights as men.、Mm -hmm. Right? Maybe not. Oh, okay. So that's what women wanted. Okay. Well, that's good to have the answer to the riddle.、Mm -hmm. And I guess we're going to find out what happens with. Sir Gawain and Lady Ragnall. When we get into part two next time. All right. See you. Bye. 刚刚说到身穿黑衣的高大骑士饶了亚瑟王一命。那么条件是呢，他一年后要来回答一个谜题。女子最想要的是什么呢？那么亚瑟王离开后就把他这个困境告诉 Sir Gawain。Sir Gawain 是亚瑟王的忠诚的骑士，同时也是他的外甥。好，这边用到一个补充单字是 predicament， 它表示困境或是尴尬的处境。Matt 老师在解释时，他用到 unpleasant 这个字 ，pleasant 前面加上否定字首 un， 构成这个字就表示令人不舒服。令人不愉快的。那么亚瑟王呢，和 Sir Gawain 就走遍了整个王国，到处询问。但是啊，每个人对于女人想要什么都是有不同的看法。亚瑟王他还是没有答案，于是他就回到森林。那碰巧遇到一位丑陋的老太婆 Lady Ragnell， 对方有答案可以救他一命哎。可是呢，他想要嫁给 Sir Gawain 来当做提供协助的回报。亚瑟王把这个要求就转告了 Sir Gawain， 那他也立刻答应喽。Lady Ragnell 揭晓答案，也就是所有的女子都想要自主权，过着自己认为合适的生活。那么 sovereignty 这个名词就表示自主权、统治权。再看到单字 loyal， 它是形容忠诚的、忠心的。那么 demand 可以当名词或动词来表达要求、需求。好，这边一个重点，我们进入文法时间。好，来看这个重点是 see fit 或者是 think fit， 是表达认为像是某个行动或决定是合适的，是恰当的。那么后面呢，也常常会接 to 加原形动词来表达认为做某事是最好的选择。举例来说 ，They saw fit to transfer their son to another school. 他们认为让儿子转学是最好的选择。那补充一下，我们也可以用 as somebody see fit 去表达如某人所愿，按照某人所选择的。像 My boss lets me do my job as I see fit。我的上司让我按照自己觉得合适的方式来做事。好，那以上是今天的讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。One day, while hunting in the woods, King Arthur got separated from his hunting party and encountered Sir Gromer Somer Jor, a tall knight dressed in black. King Arthur, for many a year you have done me wrong. Now it is time for me to quiet you. The knight roared. Arthur pointed out that it wouldn't be honorable to kill an unarmed man. 
The knight agreed and offered to spare Arthur's life on the condition that Arthur return in a year with the answer to a riddle. What is it that women most desire? Arthur gladly left and told his loyal knight and nephew, Sir Gawain, about his predicament. They set out across the kingdom and asked everyone they could find, but everyone had a different idea of what women desired. Still without an answer, Arthur returned to the forest and came across an ugly old hag named Lady Ragnell. Lady Ragnell told Arthur that she could tell him the answer and save his life, but she wanted to marry Sir Gawain in return for her help. Arthur quickly passed Ragnell's demand on to Gawain, who immediately agreed to the arrangement. Lady Ragnell then revealed the answer. All women wanted to have sovereignty to live their lives as they saw fit. Since it was founded in December 2003, Jongke Hotel, which stands next to Taijong Folklore Park, has practiced the business values of serving guests with sincerity, running the hotel with happiness, and treating customers with integrity. When you walk into the spacious, elevated lobby, the staff will greet you with a warm welcome. The hotel offers an escape from the bustling city and gives busy travelers a comfortable space to relax. Zongke Hotel has 225 guest rooms that include single rooms, double rooms, family rooms, and suites for customers with different needs. Jongke Hotel positions itself as a quality Japanese-style business hotel and thus uses only the finest building materials and facilities, maintains a safe and clean environment, provides comprehensive facilities, and offers internet connection and desks for guests on business trips. There is a business center in the lobby, and Jongke Hotel also has a conference room, fitness center, and self-serve laundry center. Convenient services enable Jongke Hotel to retain its customers. Chinese, Western, and Japanese-style buffets are served for breakfast. Dozens of diverse and delicious dishes are available for guests to choose from. The hotel's Wow Cafe has a cozy atmosphere and serves hand-brewed coffee made with a vacuum pot. Aside from offering rich and flavorful coffee, Wow Cafe is also a comfortable hideaway where guests can gather and relax. 